while ago, I did a review on the Suga Eldorado Hip Pack, which has become standard gear for me for riding in the mountains. I have switched mainly from using backpacks, hydration packs, to hip packs, and it's because of the Suga Eldorado. It's such a good hip pack. It's so functional. Unless I need to carry a lot of clothing on me. So if it's that time of year where I'm taking off big heavy gloves and tights and jackets and hats during the ride or maybe putting them on during the ride as it gets colder, I really don't need a backpack anymore. Uh, the Suga Eldorado, I can do a three or four hour ride with it and be just fine because I can carry one water bottle on the bike and two on the hip pack. I won't really go into all the features of the Eldorado because I've done that in my review, but the two that I like the most about this pack other than the durability and all Suga packs are durable but I like the fact that the water bottles come in and out so easily it's got this extra material that makes the pouches stick out so you can just put a water bottle in without looking so taking it out is easy but putting it back in is also easy and that's more important I can just reach behind me stick it in don't even have to look the other thing that i like is the removable pouches so you can get different sizes they make two three and four liter pouches and they snap off really easily and you can secure them with this strap retention system and this also allows you to put a jacket or other things below so you can carry a lot of stuff on the hip pack now suga packs are not the cheapest packs on the market but i have not found a pack more durable and so if you're looking for a high quality pack that you don't have to worry about when you're riding, you don't have to worry about it failing, and maybe you could pass it down to your grandkids, Suga packs are the way to go. Now in this video, I wanna talk about another pack that I've been using that I really like, and that is the Pivot Pro. So the Eldorado is kind of my longer ride pack. So at least two hours in the summertime, if it's cooler weather, three, four, five hours, I can ride with the Eldorado. My mid-range pack is the Pivot Pro, and I'm gonna show this up close, show you the features of it, but you can carry a water bottle on this pack, so I can have a water bottle on the bike and one on the pack, so that will get me two, maybe three hours in the winter time. In the summertime, I will go through a water bottle about every 45 minutes, so this pack would be good for an hour and a half to two hours in the summertime. So I'm gonna show this up close and show you uh, the features of this pack because it's it's a really good pack. The Suga Pivot Pro has a two liter pouch and it's got dividers inside. So I really like this phone divider. You can put a large size phone. So this is an iPhone 14 Pro Max, which easily fits into that pocket and keeps it out of the way. It's also got a key clip so you can secure your keys inside the pouch when you're riding because losing your keys on the trail is not a good day. It's also got other dividers so you can put like bars and uh, multi-tool whatnot and then of course the main pouch there by the way suga has upgraded their zippers to number eight zippers to make them more durable and it's also got a waterproofing on the zipper that you can see there and i've gotten caught in torrential torrential rain with the eldorado and everything stayed dry like the eldorado it has a really wide hip belt which is important for mountain biking these packs are designed for riding and the belt holds the pack on your body really securely so when you're riding rough trails the pack does not bounce around too much and one thing that i like about hip packs over backpacks is just the fact that there's less material touching your body and you don't get as much of a sweaty back and i will go ahead and say that this comes in three different sizes and they have a size guide on their website so you need to match up what size you need based on your hip measurements it also has some breathable mesh to keep you from getting too hot in the summertime. And then finally, you do have a loop here that allows you to hang the pack up to dry because a lot of times when I get done with the ride, I just I will just rinse the pack off underwater. I'll either hose it off outside or just put it in the mud sink and, and wash all the sweat off so it doesn't get too smelly. I like this pouch here. So on one side, you have this pouch where you can put a bar, you can put a gel, and that way it's quick access while you're riding. What makes the Pivot Pro very unique is this hammock system. And it allows you to carry a water bottle. So underneath the pouch, now you can put this hammock system underneath the pouch or on top. And I'll talk about why you would wanna do that in a minute. So I'm gonna put a water bottle in here. And I'll mention that because the water bottle goes sideways, 
you need to have a good water bottle that hasn't spent a lot of life in the dishwasher and is warped because when they get warped they will leak a little bit so you can just put the water bottle underneath here i can even do it without undoing those straps and then it will secure nicely under the pouch and then you use this clip to hold everything down so it doesn't bounce around so what i found works best is if your water bottle is full so you're heading out on a ride put the water bottle underneath the pouch then when it comes time to change out your water bottle and then you're going to take the empty one off your bike and take this full one out of the pouch and put it on your bike i found it best to put the empty water bottle on the outside and the reason is you want the weight to be close to your body so a full water bottle is typically going to weigh more than the pouch and then an empty water bottle is going to weigh less so now when your water bottle is empty you can just stick it on the outside and secure these clips now obviously this is not something you do while you're riding like with the el dorado you can't just reach back and grab your water bottle but it allows you to carry another water bottle while you're riding and that way you can extend your ride in terms of hydration so that's what it looks like with the water bottle on the outside of the pouch. You can also put a jacket, a mini pump, a handsaw, whatever in this pouch. I'll show you what it looks like with a jacket. This is a long sleeve windbreaker style jacket that easily fits in here. So vest, arm warmers, leg warmers, you can roll them up and put them in here. So it just really increases the versatility of the pack. Since we're discussing packs, I want to give you a little pro tip that I've been doing for years, and I believe I may have mentioned this in another video, and that is I keep all of my tools in a bag like this. So this is one that's made by Granite Gear. I keep a tube, multi-tool, mini pump, tire sealant, tire plugs, all kind of stuff that would bail me out of the woods in case I get a mechanical. And the reason that I do this is it allows me to transfer between packs. So the Eldorado, the Pivot Pro, and then I use it in a jersey sometimes. So if I'm riding cross country, shorter ride where I don't need a hip pack, then I can just put this in my jersey pocket. And that way I don't have to transfer individual components from one pack to another and maybe forget something. So that is the Pivot Pro. Now I like the Pivot Pro so much that I reached out to Suga and asked if they would make one with my logo. So I'm working with Suga to make these available for those of you who may be interested and we're gonna see how it goes. But that's my YouTube logo. That's the first product that I've ever put my logo on and I wouldn't put my logo on any product. Uh, I'm very particular about quality and using gear that I enjoy and that I can recommend. And that's why it's the first product that's ever had my logo. Now, before I wrap up this video, I just wanna show you one more pack from Suga real quick in case you're interested. So if you're looking for a very minimalistic pack for hiking or just day-to-day -day use, Pivot also makes this little guy called the Slinger. This is a 1.5 liter pouch. It does not have the thick waistband like on the Eldorado or the Pivot Pro. And so it's probably not designed for rugged mountain biking, but for hiking or like I said, everyday use. It also has the phone pouch inside, the key clip. It doesn't have the other little dividers that the Pivot Pro has, but it's a functional pouch for just carrying stuff out and about. And so that's the Slinger pouch that I wanted to mention before I wrap up this video. I asked Suga if they would provide a discount code for my subscribers, and they have agreed to do a 15% discount off of anything on their website for 30 days from the release of this video. So if you thought about picking up a Suga pack, this is a good time to do it. Use the affiliate link that I'll put in the description below and make sure you use the discount code. If it's beyond that 30 day window, I'll work on getting a different discount code that will be in the description below. If you've used a Suga pack, let us know in the comments below your thoughts, particularly the Pivot Pro. I'd love to know what you think about it. And with that, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.